Welcome back to Calmsden Farm for episode four with me, Mr. Silly P. Right then, you lovely people. We are carrying on it's almost off the back of where we finished the last episode. Uh, JCB is back from the garden centre. What I'm going to be doing is, well, we've got a whole load of stuff happening at the moment. My intention for this episode is the stones. We're going to get over to the biogas plant where we've got the debris crusher that we, that we bought at the end of the last episode. The sewing contract over on field 13 is continuing and we're about 60 something percent through that. The big uh, case is now doing a cultivating contract on field 17 over in that direction. And our Massey uh, has finished doing our seeding of I don't understand this. How is the yield bonus only 98%? Oh no, we need to roll as well, don't we? We've done everything. There'll be no deficit for lime or ploughing, so that should be alright. Anyway, it yeah, needs rolling, so we're going to start rolling this. This is done a soybean. Field 2, I'm putting sorghum in, because I haven't really done sorghum. So the Massey has just started off doing sorghum over there. We, as a farm, are working towards a, a goal. Uh, what I'm also going to do is have a look at the um, the secret area today. We're going to set up our, set ourselves up a safe space. Um, but I'm going to try and work out a way through. What we might do is get a hammer. We've got a chainsaw. Have we got a chainsaw? Let's get a chainsaw. And uh, we'll cut our way through, and then we're going to get some mowing done. But I can't do the mowing until the uh, the case is done, because the case is the, bigger, the biggest bit of kit we've got. I want to be using that. Actually, what we haven't done is... Um, yeah, so yeah, that's soybean. We're partway done on field two. We are a chunk done on here. I did buy eight bags of seed from the store. The problem is because the seeder is one that was given to us by the farmer it's got seed and fertilizer and if you go under the buy anything silo it does fertilizer first every time for some reason i don't want fertilizer in it so i bought bags and i think we're down to our last one so we have to buy some more bags and that one obviously that's just going to chug away for a bit hopefully um so what i'm going to do is move this into a better position so we can load the stones in with this in with this into this and while I'm loading stones into it we'll um, we'll get some rolling done let's pop that there not necessarily the best position for it but that'll have to do we'll go and get a roll it's not I think it's the, I think it's the small of the two rollers that we start with don't we on here I honestly can't remember but and we get the roller out. That's the other thing. So yeah, a few jobs. They all need to be done as we move forward. Let's get around there without clonking into that post. Not perfectly, but we've got out. So we're on to our second pallet of Honey, which is great we have to look at a... I was thinking as well about a silo I'm trying to decide what to do I don't know if we've got the larger one doesn't matter um, as far as silos go I was thinking about what we do a hay so like I said silage is going to go into the um, the cow's silage plant but I'm trying to decide what to do With hay, whether to bale it, which was what I was intending to do initially was to bale it. Or do I do it loose? If I'm doing it loose, and I thought about getting a hayloft. But like I said, I think I might have already mentioned this, but instead of getting a hayloft, I thought about getting a molten fruit silo. And using it as a hayloft, because I'm a, a sort of bigger capacity, there are some cheaper options out there. So maybe we could do that. So I'm going to whiz round with the roller on here, then we'll set a worker off. 
So I'll grab the telehandler, we'll get the stones loaded up, we'll get that production going. The problem is with this, I should be able to just set it off. I'm just on the ceiling, so it should be fine. And that should then get our um, yield up. Fingers crossed on that. And then I've got to decide, yeah, what I'm going to put in field 6 to the south of us, and then field 23. I think I'm going to put canola in one. I might put soybean in, actually, field 6. I might do, so we have soybean in this, soybean in that, and do canola over in field 23, potentially. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going backwards and forwards doing that sewing contract on field 13, because it just runs out so quickly. But we'll get all that all done. Because I'm recording this straight off the back of the last one, I haven't, obviously, haven't read any comments or anything, so I don't know, don't know how people feel about, about what I'm doing. Um, hopefully it's all good. Just stop there a second, check the map. So we are here, let's go to that. And that now says, yeah, needs rolling in light blue. And we are, yeah, excellent. edge. If I keep just the very top of the exhaust, I always got an exhaust baffle but it's the sort of heat plate, heat shield isn't it? If I keep that just on the edge over to the right of the pillar, that should keep my roller just on the edge there. Just about. There or thereabouts. I love this John Deere, I love the sound of it. I know I keep saying that too. It's surprising how you can get so blasé about doing stuff. Because I've been away for a few days, without the PlayStation, without doing anything, how quickly, I mean, this is me speaking personally, I don't know how everyone else feels about it, um, how quickly you, um, you miss it, you miss doing it. You know, it becomes kind of part of your day-to-day -day and you're doing what you're doing. And then when you're not doing it, you think, oh, I miss it, I miss doing that. I enjoy it. Let's check outside. Yep, we're over the edge. It's going to take a while. That's what I'll do. I'll do the full circuit and I'll bring us back around to the farm. Then I'll set a worker off and then I'll, uh, we'll be good to go at the, uh, the stones. We'll get those taken. So once that sewing contract's done on 13 and the, the cultivating contract's done, that's going to be about another 80 odd grand back into the coffers. What was I thinking of doing next? Uh, grain mill, wasn't it? we want to get flour underway so we've got wheat we've got barley we need to get some flour underway so maybe we'll get a grain meal put in i did think about using field six because it's fairly flat of getting some production chain stuff in there but i don't know if i'm if it will let me put the grain meal over on the biogas plant site maybe have a few bits on there because some of those fields that are there for productions um they're expensive they're eight nine hundred grand for the field might be more than that, actually. I'm looking at the episode of the Happy days. Happy, happy day. How is everybody? How are you all? Just drop it in the comments. Let me know. How are you doing, people? If you're a silly peep. While I'm doing this, don't forget. Discord server, there are links in the description for the Discord server, if you fancy joining the Discord server, there's a lot of guys on there, my uh, moderators and my admins and the guys that run it, there are a great bunch of guys and girls all on there, all love a chat and very helpful and friendly and so if you fancy Discord, jump over on there, um, I don't get into it as often as I should or could, um, 
and I did say that when it was first set up I don't know how often I'll be able to get in there but I will be trying harder I promise um, and Mr. Silly P merch don't forget if you're new if you fancy pick up something Mr. Silly P merch related uh, there's a link in the description for Mr. Silly P merch I think on the side of the videos as well if I set the thing up properly there should be a merch link on there as well Hopefully. if I did right let's have a quick check on the map have we done a full loop we have I missed a tiny bit in the corner there so what I'll do now is just raise that up if we do a straight line from here it's about there isn't it Hopefully it'll run up straight up the side there, that can go up and down, and then I'll just tidy up that back corner. So now, there we go, yield bonus is now sitting at 100%. Right, so okay, well I've got the bucket here from when I was bringing all the piles over so what we'll do is we'll switch that out let's get the stones loaded oh I'll tell you what I need to do before I do that I need to whiz over and sort that cedar out um, actually I really shouldn't be driving on the field should I no it's all good to go There. I thought, well, the weather's nice. Um, there's no point me skipping ahead too much yet because I've got a load of jobs that need doing. Um, it's only when I get to that point I'm waiting on things that we, we can start to skip ahead a bit more. because I bought over four bucket loads from over there and I didn't have this problem why is that suddenly oh I've got to be very careful on this we are right on the edge here Don't get me started. No, I'm not going to rant today. I'm not going to rant. I'm pretty much happy today. <laughs> I mean, that said, I did the mod review for yesterday's mods. And, and there were only three for yesterday, so that wasn't so bad. And there were no vehicles, so again, wasn't so bad. camera collision still this this far in now we should have it what I realise as well the sower cedar on field two had stopped. I wonder if one of the workers has gone for a... I don't know. <laughs> just gone. So we got a... Oh, we got a load of stones, didn't we? I'm going to have to whiz over and check on that. Right, give me a little bit. I'm going to go and sort out the cedar on field two, the cedar on field 13 that's fine rolling now that should carry on up, up and down and then all I'll do is come back in and this section up here I'll do myself, right, let's go and get this going again then we'll move the uh, roller over to there although I'm going to need to use one of the tractors to take the uh, stones but yeah we can, we'll just shuffle things around 
it's nearly 20 past 11. The contract on field 13 is done. The uh, cold vein contract on field 17 is just over halfway. I have finished planting the sorghum in field 2. I'm just going to top this up and this will go over to field 6. And like I said, I'm going to do soybean in that one. Then I'm going to do canola over in field 23. But before I take that over to do that, we are going to hook up the Massey to the rock trailer. I don't know how much more we're going to get in this actually. I thought it would have been full by now, but it's not. This is going to be really heavy as well. I'm almost scared to hook up to it. Okay. We will get more in it. Right, last couple of buckets then. Actually, we haven't got much left on the ground. We'll probably get it all in. We'll take that. Uh, rolling is just finishing here on field three, which is this last section to do. Then I'll move the roller onto field two and we'll just keep that process going. So field three here is good to go. We're, we're in, everything's done, rolling, the whole shebang, everything has been sorted. I want to get the, uh, like I said, I want to get the silage and the hay underway because I want to get cows. So I want all the stuff to make total mix ration before I get them. We could buy, buy some total mix ration if we wanted to, but I'd rather get the stuff all good to go and then we'll kind of go from there really. So let's push that one. Actually, that'll be all of it. Mind you, off those, what was it, four fields, wasn't it? We've got like, nearly 30,000 litres, or we've got just over 30,000 litres. That's not a bad amount of stone off those three fields. And it was all small as well, which was weird, because I was using the plough. And... Oh, there we go. It's full. Off that last little bit another time. Yeah, when I was doing the stone, uh, I did the ploughing, and I was ploughing and liming, and then I was going and picking up the stones. At one of the points where I had ploughed, then I put the lime down, I went over that second part with the plough again, and I got much bigger rocks come up. So, yeah, I could have, I could have just rolled that process round if I wanted to, I suppose, but I didn't see much need at that point. Now, 29,500. Actually, it doesn't feel as heavy as I thought it was going to. We'll go out the main entrance. Get the beacons on as well. Let's get these taken down. I have set the debris crusher. Not the one that's on the map. I've placed the other one. You'll see when we get there. I have set that to selling. The price here isn't as much as it was in Elm Creek, unfortunately, but we'll, you know, we're still going to make money from selling this. And what I can show you, on the way past as well, is the old, like I say, the old stone quarry, I guess. It, you know, it has been all fenced in and closed off for safety reasons, I, I suppose. And I think if we are going to look at doing something with that later on, it's going to require a bit of work because I think we have to clear some trees and things out the way to even be able to access it. But I'll show you when we get there because we need to turn left to get round to the biogas plant. Oh yeah, now it feels heavy. That feels really heavy. So, let's swing around here. And I'll show you what I mean. So here, they've put up this fence in. And there's trees everywhere, which I assume have grown up over time. But down through here, there's an old quarry in there. Mm. You may not have that on yours. I know people will ask me, hang on a minute, I haven't got that on my map. No, you won't have. 
wrap up we will be looking into that in a little bit more detail because if I can get the debris crusher up and running a supply of stones might be quite handy so we might go into that a little bit more kind of commercially maybe right uh, right, next steps, I'm just trying to think, right, cultivator's still going. Once the cultivator's finished, I can go and grab the mowers. I'm really still reeling over the... That Massey, but Massey, the um, Magnum, the case. I'm using these vehicles a lot, which you would do. You know, these are big fields, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of backwards and forwards, you know, whatever work I'm doing. One thing's always kind of, it's never been a happy medium with repair costs. FS19 it wasn't too bad, I didn't mind it at all. I think the repair costs on here are way too high. I know it was said that if you buy second-hand equipment, it will degrade a lot quicker and you'll have to repair it more often. So there is that trade-off, yes you're getting equipment really cheap because you're getting it second-hand sale stuff, but the flip side of that is you're then paying more repair costs. But the problem I'm finding is that Magnum is an expensive, a fairly expensive tractor. There are far more expensive tractors. But in using it as I am, realistically, if you were a farmer, would you be paying out 11, 12 grand a month repair costs on your tractor? On one of your tractors? I mean, I don't think so. But hey, what do I know? So here we are. Uh, we have got it all set up here. There is the in-game debris crusher, which is the other side of the fence in over there at the Cotswolds um, market. That's what we'll do. Let's unload what we've got here. Let's click on that. Stone's going in. We've got it set on selling. What I want to do now is put it on active. So that should now be processing the stones with a 4 to 1 ratio. So our nearly 30,000 litres should equate to about 120,000 litres. Beacon's off. I've got a tiny little bit left to go, but I won't worry about that. So we'll leave that chugging away there. Now we need to go and check out while everything else is happening. Um, the Massey will then take the seed out and we'll go to field six but what i want to do on the way back we're going to whiz out along to the the horse um yeah, to be honest with you i don't know i don't think we'll get anything for it i don't think we're going to do horses obviously that's not my decision to make that's up to the boss but i don't think we're going to so i'll have a look i don't think if we get because i suddenly thought well, if we sold off that the, the uh, horse stable, we could make a bit of money, but I don't think you'd get anything for it. Yeah, we're going to look at trying to work out a route through to the uh, the safe space, the secret meadow. Just trying to work out the, sort of the best route through, and if we can cut a route through, we might have to take a tree down, chop it all up, stump grinder in, but we might be able to make a track through. A few people did message me with suggestions and ideas of a direction, a route in. So that's what I'm checking out now. Let me take a left here. Actually, uh, should I be taking the trailer with me? Yeah, I guess it's How we're looking for I left a bale there for feed water we might be right it looks like we've got a full pallet of wool and a little bit so we might have to move some of that what I'll do is move the wool pallets and put them in the little shelter in the corner of the field where the hay bales are then we can move those around at some point so we go through here I'm just trying to think if I read if I read the instructions correctly. Instructions. If I turn around in the field, that'd be great. Now, why 
don't know. Yeah, here. We've got a few bushes and stuff, but if we can cut a couple down, here's our access into the meadow. So I reckon... Have we got a chainsaw? We have got a chainsaw. How are we going to go for... Just a couple of bits. Don't know how we're going to be for these hedges, uh, these little bushes though. We really want to be driving through them. Let's have a look, shall we? Um, what's it going to let me cut down? Is it going to let me cut it down? Is this going to be like it was in 19, where when you come back later on, it will be um, sticking up out the ground? And you can get with the rest of it, maybe. Or is it? That didn't sound too healthy. Or is it going to fall through the ground and we're always going to have a... So bad. What about so this one here? not too bad is it don't think we can do these can we no we might be able to landscape them out of this one's got to go then this is going to be a trickier one trickier proposition <laughs> let's just drop that into someone's allotment oh sorry it's grass here <laughs> so i just dropped it on Someone's prized lettuce or cauliflowers. So, you can see where we're going with this. I'm going to clear this through so we'll have access. There'll be some nice grass cut. I know a couple of people have sent me pictures have actually set their entire farm up in here. It's kind of hidden away if we got on the map. It depends if you, if you watch my map tour or not. Um, well, it looks like that's done for rolling, so I need to move the roller here. That, we are here. This section here, there's trees on the, on the um, map. This is where the meadow is. It's kind of hidden away. I and mean, you start with it on New Farmer anyway. So hopefully... Hopefully this will work out all right. Only time will tell. Right, uh, I'm going to cut this down then. <laughs> Which way do I want to drop it? Can I take that branch up as well? Let me. I'm too far away. Yep. Yeah. Let's drop that that way, and then we'll get rid of all that. I'll get in there with the stump grinder, we'll lease one and we'll get that done as well. This is just all in preparation for grass cutting. Oh, where's that going? It's not going anywhere. Uh, I think it's caught up in that tree there. Let's take that section out. I'll pile the, the wood up to one side because we can get rid of that. Ooh. This is, this is not safe forestry, by the way. 
This is not how you're supposed to cut a tree down. I'm like one of those guys on the internet. What's this? As I drop it onto my house or... This is so dodgy. Can I pull one of those chunks out? Maybe a smaller... Oh, is it going to go? Anyway, I'll, go, I'll get back to this. At least I know I can cut that through. Um, I've got to tidy some of this up. That won't go, will it? No. But this will. Let's chop this up. That even go? Precarious, to say the least. Right, we'll come back. At least I know. I've got other stuff that needs to be done. Oh, that's the thing as well. Chickens. Because we've got the wheat and the barley. We'll do chickens as well. Oh, so much to do. Not enough hours in the day. The cultivating contract on field 17 is complete. I haven't collected another one actually, yeah, have I? Um, we were on 168 grand, we clicked over the hour at 12 o'clock, and the debris crusher selling the lime directly made us about six and a half grand. That's not bad for an hour. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is take this back. I've taken on the fertil I've taken on the fertilizing contract as well, but we'll take this back. I'm just gonna do some preventative maintenance on the cultivator and we need to put some more diesel actually I don't know how much diesel I've got in that tank left you know so yeah, let's see shall we let's pop that there is it going to work from here or is it going to pick up the thing again repair 1,355 for that how much do you want for that 1,899 might as well do it while we're here we don't want anything catastrophic going wrong. I still need to get a jet wash, which we don't have. Uh, rolling is now underway on field two. Soybean on field six is underway. Let's pop that there. What we are going to do now is go and grab mowers. And we're going to take the mowing gear to the, uh, the secret meadow. I have got, I have managed to get that tree down. I do need to move a few bits out of the way. Um, I don't know if I showed you this. I know I said I was going to try and clear a path here. I think we could do as well. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go to our contracts. Um, that one's complete, and that's complete. There's a reimbursement there of 1,367. That's for seed that's left in it. So we'll collect on that. We'll collect on that. That's active. We'll go into that. That's not a lot of money for field one. Field one's a massive field. Bear in mind we've got to pay for the fertiliser. Well, it doesn't matter, it's still going to be 29 grand. So we're up to 255. Now, as we've done all right out of that, is it worth me sticking in another beehive? I don't know, we'll see. Let's go and get the mowers first. Yeah, what I've done is we've got a bit of a track here where I've been going backwards and forwards. But the hedge bit, I couldn't remove it. I know there was a mulcher as part of the forestry equipment that says it will remove some bushes and hedges but I couldn't get it to work either. I tried landscaping, I tried doing that, nothing seemed to want to work but again I, I tried. That's good. Yeah. So the front mower actually, am I going to be able to fit in here? I don't know. Mm. Maybe. I don't think I will. I might have to stick different uh, 
I've just left it narrow twin, so I don't know why. I, don't like, I like the look of it, I suppose. But I don't think I'm going to fit through that door, am I? Oh. Rear tyres? No, and I'm not quite close enough to collect the, uh, the mower. No, <laughs> just need to go a little bit further forward. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, just going to change the tyres over. does mean potentially we've got, well, not potentially, but the money we'll be getting from the, the uh, stone crusher and what we've just made in those contracts, I think we'll be alright to get the uh, grain mill. So we'll have a look at that, that'll be next episode. We'll do all the mowing now, I'm not too sure where we're going to stand with regard to, I'll need to windrow it all up, then we'll work out collecting or tedding and bailing and what I'm going to end up doing, I, I'm not sure. Uh, right, so... How can it be £10 repair already? I haven't done anything. Just wide tyres. Don't want wides and weights, do I? Lovely, spangly clean tyres. Awesome, right. Let's go and get this mowing done. Or well, at least started, anyway. Dog's got his barky pants on today. I had my ranty pants on yesterday. He's got his barky pants on today. There we go. Brilliant. Got the is it the Kongskilda? Kong Kongskilda. I'm not sure. Kongskilda. I can't remember. Can we, yeah, we can swath, can't we? So this is where I've got to decide what I'm going to do for hay and what I'm going to do for grass. Grass I'm going to collect. You know what I will do? The cow field here, because we haven't got any cows in it yet. The cow field we can cut and we will windrow with this and collect and we'll put into the silage clamp just there. And what other grass fields have we got available? Hopefully we have, have we? Oh yeah, we have. Just something remembered. Uh, we have got. Where are we? We own field four. Or well, field 35 as well. And really, any of these, we can do any of these if we want to. So we can cut all of that. Um, so, yeah, what we'll do is we'll do that one for grass, which we'll put into the silage clamp. But the one we're going to do now, we'll do for hay, I think. So we'll leave it open. We won't put it into a swath because then we'll come along with the tether. Probably should have come in the other way because I'm going to have to do a tight turn up into it now. And like I say, I might have to move some logs around before we get in there. Is this going to fit too bad? Oh, I just. The ancient wall knocked down in a second. A clumsy farmer. So let's have a look at the devastation, of course, shall we? I'll leave this open since I haven't got any horses. Actually, to be fair, the horse pasture here hasn't got growing grass on it, has it? Not really. Yeah, so we can extend the track from here. There you go, that's not so bad, is it? We can just sort these bushes out. I mean, if we have to go through the bushes, it'd be like going through to the back cave, wouldn't it? Yeah in my head uh, yeah so I've chopped all that back and um, what I ended up doing was I, I cut those chunks in the middle cut them thinner pulled one out 
it fell at an angle. I then went up the tree, took the branches out that were further up, and uh, we were right. I'm not sure if I'm about to pick these up. There we go. Look. I'm going to sting all this to one side for the time being, and then I'll load it into a trailer, and we'll take it and get rid of it at the um, sawmill. Or, yeah, sawmill is the obvious place, isn't it, really? Um, but I do need to get that stump out. Forgot about that. Um, what can I use for that? There's trailed stump grinders and things. Actually, what I might do while we're here, let's put this into build mode. So let's go on to landscaping. Uh, go to painting first. Grass, where are we? Yes, okay, that's all right. I'm going to do that one. That might just be enough, actually. I don't think they'll let me do that. That's a bit more solid, that one. Yeah, it's not letting me do anything around that. Oh, yeah. Right, excellent. So what we'll do now is go out to there. Go up to plants. Cross to that. Put a bit of put a bit of grass back in there, just add a bit of something. As soon as I took it out, we'll see how we go with regard to um, the tracks we kind of put in as we go across here. I'll put a bit of kind of meadow grass in this time in, um, and then we'll extend the track from there across. I suppose we could even we could put a gate in here, couldn't we? We'll have a look at doing that at some point as well. I'm going to move some of these bits out of the way. Just, I'm just stinging on the big, big old heap. Well, there seems to be something. Hmm. What is that I'm stepping over here? Okay, that seemed rather large. I'm definitely standing on something. Still, let me pick that up. How small do I need to make that? It will let me take that. Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> You know what, let's just get through, I'm going to get through, we'll get some grass cut, I'll come back and tidy all this up, I'll get a stump grinder and we'll take that out. Um, can I get through here without hitting that stump? The other thing as well is, I'm assuming, I am making a massive assumption here that it's going to let me cut the grass. Yeah, that stump needs to go. Does, will, it, will it leave it behind? This is a bit of a game, isn't it? I mean, at the end of the day, it didn't cost me anything for the field. Uh, let's just double check on this. Uh, we want that. Put that on. Hang on. Oh, this hasn't got the. Um, I thought this would be adjustment. Oh, never mind. Well, whatever happens, then I'm going to uh, windrow. But we are cutting the grass. That's good. It's a nice big old meadow as well. There is the large... Uh, is it the Kona Swadro... I want to say 2000. That's the big one, isn't it? You can maybe get that. But if this is going to be one I'm going to do for hay, 
I'll come and ted it. Then we'll wind row it. And then we'll decide whether or not we're going to go for a silo and do a hayloft or whether we're going to bail it. I'm, I'm kind of airing on bailing because I really enjoyed doing the bailing. And we can have our straw and our hay bales. And then we can um, do our silage loose. Do silage bales as well, can't we? Something that Baron Papa mentioned, which I haven't really thought about, was the old Anderson silage sausages. We could do some silage sausage work. I'm annoyed about that. What I have to do is take it back. Or actually, what I could do is bring the um, toolbox out. <laughs> I've got the mobile toolbox that I can take anywhere and I keep going back to it rather than bring it out. But then I've got a, a, a piece of equipment. I haven't got a, a vehicle for having it mobile. I need something nice and cheap. So I can just sling it in the back of Maybe a little... Uh, oh, that JCB Workmax. How much was that? A little... Or a quad or something like that. Something nice and cheap that I can use as my mobile workshop and we can just whiz out and do what we need to adjust equipment on the fly if we need to and repair as we go. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? <gasps> Look at the fuel! I meant to do that when I was back at the yard and then promptly didn't. I don't know if I've got it, actually, saying that. Uh, so we'll look at our cars. Oh, we can have the Gator. The Gator's not too expensive. Certainly cheaper than one of those. And then put a small back on it. Do we want a 6x? No. Do we want a 4x? Protection... Go with those. Do we want to go full... The full jalopy. Doors as well? Is that a bit excessive? Quite like that. Go with that. Beacons. We'll go with one on the side. Additional lights. No, not bothered. 40, 50, 50 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Ah, leave those yellow. Rim color. Yeah. Uh, we'll put it on. Number plate, no, for the time being. We can always change that. How much is that? Oh, 17. That's a bit more than I was going <laughs> to... 17 grand for a mobile... Oh, I've got to get the back as well. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? I need to find the back for this now. Uh, what back would it be? Is it the one under trailers? Is it one under trailers? Or do I dream it? I'll just go for that. It won't strap down though, will it? I'm just worried about it bouncing out of there. That might be a bit better. Main colour. Boom. Right. 20 grand spent on odds and ends. 
I can't help myself now. Sorry, I will do it later. Yeah, we go. Yes, it won't strap down, but it's, it's we've had the back on that. It's actually not too bad. Why am I not? What is going on? Okay, that's annoying. Okay, that's driving me mad. What is going on? That can't be because of the toolbox, surely. Right. It is. That... <laughs> Disabled camera collision. Sort it out. work from there it will right let's have a look at this customize ah it's an extra 15 grand to add those on I thought I'd already done that in all honesty that's going to come in very handy because it will mean we can um, uh, we can win row as we go so you know what let's do it we have been charged. We have put the bits on we need to, but it does mean I need to double check this now because I want to leave that dropping so we can TED. Uh, but that's worked absolutely brilliantly. I think what we'll do, I'm going to carry on cutting this. So again, the next episode, we may just follow straight on. Uh, what I'll do, get off this cut. We'll come out on TED. We'll wind row and see what we're going to do with it. I'll cut the grass over in the cow pasture and we'll have a look at do the ones we're here. Um, I say we have got the sheep field and we have got that field over there as well, which is all grass. We can do all of those. Um, yeah, these don't have growing grass in, but that's not too bad. So we'll get those done. I'll get those logs moved to one side. Actually, with the forestry back on this as well, I can throw some of the small logs and stuff in here. Um, that Move this out of the way. Oh, I like this. There are probably cheaper options, but I don't care. Let's jump in. <laughs> Let's make sure we've got this set correctly on swath dropping. Uh, we are on. Hang on. Oh, we weren't attached. That would be why. Uh, toggle work mode. We're on widespreading. Both dropping left, right, wide. That's what we want. Wide for the time being. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>